A tape measure is an important tool for use at work and at home. This brief video demonstrates how to accurately read a tape measure. Here is a tape measure measuring the width of a metal frame. Hooked on the left side, it is showing the frame to be 13 and 3 eighths inches wide. Or stated another way, it is 1 foot and 1 and 3 eighths inches wide. Most tape measures have 16 marks inside 1 inch. Let's see what they represent. First, the starting point is 0 and the 1 inch mark is on the right. Halfway between those two points is the 1 half inch line. Halfway between the 0 line and the 1 half inch line is the 1 quarter inch line. And halfway between the half inch line and the 1 inch line is the 3 quarter inch line. Notice the lines are different sizes. This helps us read the measurements easier. Many of our measurements require using even the smaller lines of the tape measure. So let's learn to read these. Half of 1 quarter inch is 1 eighth inch, represented by this mark. And half of that is the smallest line, 1 sixteenth inch because it is the first of the 16 marks. To find 5 sixteenths of an inch, you would count 5 lines. To count to 5 eighths of an inch, you would count 1 on the 1 eighth inch line and keep counting until you get to the 5th 1 eighth inch line. Notice you count the 1 eighth inch size line and all the ones larger but you don't count the smaller 1 16th inch lines. Understanding how to read these lines will allow you to measure any length, whether it is for 1 and 5 8 inch or 111 16th inches. Most tape measures don't show all the numbers, so you will have to count the lines. If you needed to measure 5 and 3 16th, you would count 3 lines after the 5 inch line. If you need 5 and 9 sixteenths, you would count 9 lines after the 5 inch line. With practice, you will understand that 1 half is also 8 sixteenths, and you would count one more line for 9 sixteenths. When you count for 1 eighth, the important thing to remember is you don't count the 1 sixteenth inch lines, only the 1 eighth inch lines and larger. Take a moment now to figure out the location for 7 sixteenths and 5 eighths. The answer will come in 5 seconds. Here is 7 sixteenths. Counting 7 of the sixteenths lines gives you 7 sixteenths. And here is 5 eighths. Counting 5 of the eighths lines shows you where the 5 eighths line is. To understand fractions, let's repeat this another way. If you are counting by eighths, you count the eighths lines and all the longer lines, including the 1 quarter inch and 1 half inch lines, but ignore any smaller lines. Did you notice that the 1 quarter inch and the 1 half inch was expressed two ways? 2 eighths is the same as 1 quarter. And the fourth of the 8 lines is the 1 half inch line. We usually express them in the fractions with the smallest numbers. To take this further, the sixth of the 8 lines is 3 quarters of an inch. The next line would be the 7 8 inch line. The 8th line, or 8 eighths, would be the 1 inch line. We hope this brief demonstration will make it a little easier for you the next time you need to read a tape measure.